Greetings, is Manavananian Sivara Subramaniam is station master at West Green? Auto ego of Steve. Yes, Manavananian is my auto ego. Uh, in keeping with good goons humour or Spike Milligan or Peter Sellers even. Anyway, welcome to Futtocks and Loco Works. I thought I'd show you. I'm, I'm up to a new project today. But here's a few things I've done. So the, that's an easy build, Mark 1. I didn't build that one. I built a few of them, but I didn't build that one. That's a, uh, a, uh, it's a uh, is that an SK? Second corridor. That was built for me by my mate Graham, Graham Plowman. However, I have, I just did build, let's get that out of the way. I did build that. That's a Connoisseur J15. Fresh out of local works, and this I built this uh, an Ivert C1 Atlantic. It was an it's an ace kit. Well, they're called ace kits. It was the most difficult kit to build. Oh, there's a bit of wood there anyway. There we go. A difficult kit to build, but anyway, we're not here to talk about that. This is my next uh, project. Project, call it whatever you will. Let's go down there, lock it in. What I've got here is a lovely green box. It is a smashing green box, and it is, I'll take it out. It's so green, it could be Irish. Yeah. Oh, it's better. It is a Martin Finney, uh, London North Eastern, British Railways, 1928 corridor tender, 7 millimeter scale. So it can be built as either as 32 mil fine scale or S7. I'm going to put it as S7. Um, so, I'll go through what I've been up to. This kit will build a corridor tender. 1928 corridor tender for the original A1 or A3 Pacifics, first used on the Flying Scotsman service, London to Edinburgh non stop, 393 miles non stop, which was why I think 1st of May 1928 it started, uh, which is why it had a corridor tender so that the crew they could change crew en route uh, and they didn't have to climb over the top of the tender or swim through water and God knows how much coal. Um, this is one of the magnificent drawings that come with these kits. These are expensive kits, I must admit, and I'm not bragging about it, I'm just saying they are, but you get what you pay for, and it's, I mean, it's just perfection in the kit, I think. Um, they're no longer made by Martin Finney, they've been, Martin Finney's sold on his business, and it's now produced by a company who call themselves Finney 7, and for your convenience, I will put a link to the website in the description below. Um, one thing you can do with this kit is um, um, the instructions are as a, P are, uh, as a PDF, um, uh, which you can download, which I've already done, um, even though this is a pre, it is a Finney 7 kit, but basically I bought it from Martin Finney. He's up, they've upgraded, uh, instructions which they've done a superb job of because uh, it's colour photos you can zoom in and out and you can search for parts anyway let's get back to it this is the 1928 corridor tender however I'm building this for a uh, I've, I've got an A4 Pacific and so I am want to build probably I'm probably going to build to Nigel Gresley in BR condition and it would be probably about 1960-61, something like that, in BR Green. And of course, what happened is, instead of this tender, the 20, 1928 corridor tender, uh, built for the A3, they slightly modified it. I don't know exact modifications, but certainly it's got this cowling on the side, which the other one didn't have, because it was a streamlined engine. So enough of that. So you get all the pictures, uh, really good, full size, it's got a picture of the frets, so you can identify all the parts, 
and this comes with an instruction book but it's now this is now all online which you can download before you buy the kit this at least a good thing is you can think oh what's the kit like um i've never built this is my first finny kit i've never built one before i know people who have and they said yes they're complex as far as what's in, included but they go together like a dream uh I've got the A4, that's in a box somewhere else. I'm going to build a tender first, I think that's always a good idea. I've bought, kits don't come included with wheels or motor or wheels or whatever. So I've got these are Slater's disc wheels, which uh, you need for the kit. Now, you get three frets. I've started working on these. I only started working on it last night. As you can see, I've cut some bits out. So you get three frets. Bag of white metal castings, miscellaneous bits of wire, buffers, uh, some other brass gloss wax. There's uh, staunchions for the um, uh, tender handbrake, uh, parts for the uh, oh, there's a knuckle coupler, a uh, buckeye coupler which I had on. Um, what else? Uh, vac pipe fittings there. There's all sorts of paraphernalia in this kit. Um, yeah, it's all there. Now, so, enough of that. Let's get that out of the way. So, it comes with three frets. As you can see, some parts of it. So, that's one of the frets. It's got the basic uh, uh, back of the cab, that sort of stuff on. Uh, bottom of the foot plate that sort of stuff obviously not all these parts will be used some of them are optional because it depends on what version you're building let's get rid of that one Put that, no, get rid of it that's the second fret that's got the outside frames where the uh, springs will go on so these are the uh, cosmetic frames uh, if you like it's got all that many of course it's got The tender sides, more bits, uh, cor back corridor, all the tender, it's all there. Um, yeah, all there. Now, so what I've been doing, following the instructions, part one. So last night, I cut out the frames. These are the actual internal frames where the wheels are going to sit in. So these all will be folded and bent and uh, holes drilled out, whatnot. Uh, I also pulled out it comes with three sets of spacers. Now, originally, I think this kit was built a four millimeter scale. Martin did produce for version four millimeter scale. They also produce, I don't know who by now, but that was sold on not to Fini 7. Fini 7 just took the seven mil ones. Um, it could be Brass Masters. I can't remember. It doesn't really matter, but I'm sure you could Google it and find out. So there's three sets of spacers. So originally, they're different widths. They're the same spaces, but different widths. So originally that would have been, the narrow ones would have been OO. I would imagine that would have been EM, and that would have been for P4, for the elitists. Now, for those who like, you know, a bit more purism. But in O gauge, of course, you've got 32mm uh, fine scale, and you've got scale 7, which is more, scale 7 is the 7mm version of, of uh, P4. Um, most people don't bother with that. So, um, hats off for those who do, but I don't. So most people go fine scale, uh, a few more compromises. So you could use any of these. I'm just going to check which size spaces I'm going to use. Uh, obviously this is more accurate. So uh, that's the spaces. So I've got these out. The next thing I've done, because these are in the middle, and like all these things uh, of the fret, when you pull them out, you lose where they are in relation to the fret. Now, these are the brake, these are, you can see that they're brake hangers. Now they're bagged. I'm trying to be organized. These are part numbers. C11, C12, and C13. There's 16 of these. There's four wheels, so 16. So there's, uh, these are overlaid, so, sorry. These are laminated, so there's two in each wheel, so that's why you've got 16, two, eight, 16, but there's different types. For the first axle, there's one type. 
and the, so there's one four of those. They're only slightly different, and it, they are marked in the fret, but not all the parts are marked. So once you've pulled out identified C11, C12, and C13, you've got to find the rest and make sure you've got the right ones. And they're all they're, they're, so there's three types. So it's just a matter of looking at them and think, oh yeah, that's an 11. So I've got four 11s there. That's the first axle. Four 12s there. That's for the second axle. They're handed left and right because you're one side and the other side. And then the last two axles, axles three and four, have got the same hangers. So that's, um, uh, so in other words, there's, uh, there's eight in there because there's two axles and there's two each side, so it's eight. So you've got to be very careful. Um, like all kits, you have to be really careful that you get the right parts. You know, that you're careful that you identify them and you, uh, what's the word, you're diligent in what you do. So the, next, the first thing I'm going to do um, is to build the internal frames with the wheels and the brakes and everything on it, which is what the instructions say. And one thing I really like about the Finney 7, even though I didn't, oh, it's 10 o'clock, I love that clock. Oh. I've had egg and bacon for breakfast, a cup of Yorkshire tea, None of that full English, none of that continental Brexit for me, boy. Full English Brexit. I like the Brexit. Cup of char, eggs and bacon, that's what I have for breakfast, eh? No croissant and a black coffee. Mind you, I don't mind black coffee, I'll have one in a minute. Mm. Oh. I might stand up and salute. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. So the next thing I'm going to do, and this will be my next video, I'll document this whole thing because I just like doing it. And it might help people and people might say, uh, I built this, do that. So I, I can learn. So the first thing I'll do is open out all the holes as it says, select the spaces, build the frames, wheel it up, brakes, and then I can move on. Anyway, that's it from me. And Manavanian Sivara Supermanium, Station Master is... What's green? I also remember a funny line. Who was it? Peter Sell said it. Balham, gateway to the south. No, that wasn't it. So that was funny. Who was it? Spike Milligan said. What did he say? He was talking about a scene. He said, set the scene. It was a dark and winter's night. And he said, meanwhile, he said, the curtains are drawn. But the furniture was real. <laughs> Gotta love that line. Oh, yeah, so just a little one other thing, sorry. Sometimes, when you cut these things out, sometimes I use a standing knife, you know, like the frets, like, like there, like the little nibs. And I've, I've got a set of these, these are fret nibblers. Well, that's all right, but you've got to be careful sometimes when you're nibbling in, you can still twist it. So, what I've got here, this is a NAF. It's got, it's got to be NAF brand, you know what I mean, NAF. Made in the lesser part of Asia, you know where the bats come from. You do, you know what I'm talking about, where my mother-in-law comes from. <laughs> so I sharpen these up and uh, I sharpen these up on the grinder and I, I use these to scrape paint and bits of crud and whatnot. But of course, sharpen it up, I sharpen this up this morning. All I do is, um, yeah, look, it's not rocket science. I just put it in there, like that. No bends, I've just got to file them off now. But anyway, that's, that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Make sure you visit uh, uh, Finney 7 if you're interested in this or a 4mm equivalent, whatever it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell icon to get updates and all that. And I hope you love Mr. Manny Benani and Seva Supermanian. He's gone off for his lunch now. He's having a Ruby Murray and a pint of Guinness at the pub. Anyway... He won't be any good this afternoon. He'll, he'll be tasked. He won't be able to stop the 515 to Palace Gates, will he? So here's one of the uh, brake hangers I've made up. That's a C12 one. So I've done the C11s, both sides. Um, that's C12. You can see it's a, a sandwich of... Uh, there's two of them back to back, and they're left and right-handed. Uh, over here, I've got two... Uh, this is, oh, that's better. 
This is the C13. There's eight of these. They make up into four of the two axles. Uh, what I've been using is this uh, solder paste. So I just squeeze that on in the middle. Not too much. Just put it on in the middle. Put that on top. Put a little pin through. That's better. Come on. Put a little pin through one of the holes to line them up. Hold it with pliers. Put it on a piece of uh, fire glass. Get it with a soldering iron till it all bubbles out and then clean it up. That's what I'm going to do. So I'll finish the rest of these off now and then I'll work on the frames. 